Everything happens here. It's busy, it's vibrant. Union Square is always buzzing. There's always something going on. It's a blend of everything. There's locals, there's tourists, it's young and old. It's such a great spot and it's so central. It makes city life really, really easy. From the history to the architecture to the arts, name me another place like that in New York City. If you're going to live in New York City, you should live in New York City, and this is just a wonderful way to do that. The thing I always loved about it was the variety. Shops, off-Broadway theaters, residential uh, universities. I have two teenagers, and this apartment and Union Square is the place where everyone meets. Ah, oh, transportation is so great here. It's like, I think I feel like the luckiest girl in the world with transportation. Um, all of the subway lines come here, and if they don't, you can take the L, which goes across town. When you do come up from the subway, oh my goodness. You've got this green space, and you've got these beautiful architectural buildings around you. We also have this incredible 15,000 square foot playground that has been an attraction for families from all five boroughs. People can go somewhere great for lunch, or you know, if they want to go out in the evenings, we have a lot of young staff. Union Square is a great area for them. It is special because it is the center of everything, I think, in New York City, and of course, New York City is the center of the world. When I talk to people about Union Square, I'm like, it has everything, but it has everything. If you want peace and quiet, don't move to Union Square. Things get busy. You, you have to, frankly, have your wits about you. Otherwise, you'll be ping-ponging off your fellow pedestrians. No justice for the brown, so what we gonna do? Union Square has been a traditional center of protest in New York City. I think it's wonderful to have this forum for people to get together and speak their minds and bang some drums sometimes. During protests and I'm trying to wade through a crowd to get home, being a guy who wears a necktie every day, there have been times over the last four years where I've felt somewhat out of place. To me, it's part of the broad energy of living here with all different types of people. My first experience of Union Square was to avoid Union Square. Do not go to Union Square. The park was terrifying, actually. You would avoid it. You'd walk around the perimeter. The only reason you would go into Union Square Park is probably to buy drugs. If I woke up early enough on a Saturday morning, the police barriers were still up from the crime that had happened the night before. I remember the first time that I considered opening a restaurant in the Union Square park neighborhood. Almost anyone I mentioned that to thought I was absolutely insane. You know, little by little, we, we ended up, you know, fighting back and, and pushing back. And the first green market was invited to the area, in a sense, to help revitalize things a little or give it some life. The green market is the lifeblood of the neighborhood. You get to socialize, you see your friends there all the time, you speak to the farmers. I think the Green Market, quite frankly, put Union Square back on the map. Back on the map that this is going to be a great place. The Union Square neighborhood has never been hotter than it is right now. I think anybody who's owned here five years or longer is really psyched right now. The flip side is that the rents are also going through the roof and there's a lot of change in the air. What I pay now versus what I paid when I moved here 10 years ago is more than double uh, for less space. It 
it's like New York City, everything goes up, and this is a very desirable neighborhood. In terms of people living here, um, you have to have money. I do have concerns that the people who helped revitalize and build the park can no longer afford it. And the fact that Danny Meyer's restaurant is being priced out of the neighborhood is just mind-boggling. It's a little bit sad, I have to admit, that if you look at the storefronts on Union Square Park, it's almost 100% national chains. There are now, you know, a lot of big retailers. It's convenient, it's nice that it's here, but it's not so interesting. That to me is kind of heartbreaking because it almost tells people who are New Yorkers that we want you to start businesses and we want you to grow the city, but we're going to prevent you from doing so because we're going to get Babies R Us and Nordstrom and Burlington Coat Factory in because that's more important to our economy than you. Union Square, I'm hopeful, will start to trend back, but I know it's all driven by economics, so let's see what happens.